Welcome to this episode of Tricky English. Today we're going to look at the most bewildering homophone trio, there, there, and there. They all sound the same, right? That's why they're called homophones. They may sound the same, but they are spelled differently and they mean totally different things. Now, if you struggle to get these right, don't feel bad. Many people struggle with these. I have even seen native English speakers with high levels of education mess this up. Wouldn't you like to know better grammar than even some native English speakers with high levels of education? Of course you would. Let's check it out. First, we have T-H-E-R-E. -E. This there is a place. Just remember that it has the word here in it. So when you spell it, you should see the word here. Our house is over there. There meaning in that place or location. Don't put your dirty clothes there, in that place, like on the floor. They belong in the hamper, folks. Oh no, I sounded like my mother for a second. Anyway, we need T-H-E-R-E -E in these two sentences because both are referring to a place. Now let's look at T-H-E-I-R. This one is a possessive pronoun. It's all about ownership. Someone owns something, so a noun must follow it. Their car is parked next to ours. What follows the word there? A noun, car. It's their car, they own it. So we need the possessive pronoun T-H-E-I-R. I've ridden in their luxury car. Have you ever ridden in a luxury car? I have. It's nice. At first I thought, oh yeah, I want one. But then I thought about how much it would cost to buy one. Then add on the cost of insurance, upkeep and repairs. I decided, nah. I don't want one that badly. What follows the word there? The word luxury. Luxury is an adjective describing what? The noun car, which they own. So we need the possessive pronoun T-H-E-I-R. Don't let those adjectives fool you. And now we have T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. This is a contraction for the words they are. It's easy to decide if this is correct because all you need to do is replace it with they are. If it sounds right, then it's correct. They're jumping for joy. They are jumping for joy. Why are they jumping for joy? They're out of school for the summer. They are out of school for the summer. No wonder they're jumping for joy. I felt the same way when I was a kid, but then by August I was bored with summer and couldn't wait to go back to school. Here's today's tricky English tip. First, try reading it as they are. Does it sound right? If it does, then it's the contraction, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. If it doesn't, then does a noun follow it that belongs to someone? If yes, then it's the possessive pronoun, T-H-E-I-R. If you say no to both of the above, then there's only one left, and that's the place, T-H-E-R-E. -E. Now it's time for a challenge. This sentence includes all three theirs. Your job is to figure out which one goes where. The sentence is, they're selling their car over there. They're selling their car over there. I'll give you 10 seconds to figure out which one goes where but feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Okay, let's look at this first one. They are selling their car over there. Does that sound right? It does to me. So in this space is the contraction 
T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. All right, now the next one. Does a noun follow that belongs to someone? They're selling their car. Does the car belong to them? Yes, it does. So we need the possessive pronoun for this one, T-H-E-I-R. And that leaves there the place. It's the only one left. And that's the end of this episode of Tricky English. Check out this episode's blog post at acorntestprep.com for a link to a practice exercise. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.